Hey guys and welcome back. I am Amy and in today's video we are going to be going over how you can easily make and etch glass. Now, if you have seen my previous videos, I do one called um, five things that you can make and sell using your Cricut. And one of those things is etched glassware. So this is a more in-depth tutorial of how you can do that. So if you are interested in learning how to do that, please be sure to stick around. But before we do, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. And Okay, so the first thing that we need to do in order to be able to etch our glass is we need to have a glass. So this particular glass is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a Pilsner glass, so this makes a very cheap and easy project that you can do. So you need the glass. You are also going to need to have etching cream. Now this etching cream I just got from my local craft store and you can do the same as well. It goes a long way um, on there. You are going to need transfer tape to be able to put your image onto your glass you're going to need your image which you're going to cut off from your Cricut I have not yet weeded that because I'm going to show you in the next step exactly how to weed it to make it a stencil for etching so but go ahead and cut it off from your machine whatever image you want on the glass you are also going to need for your project gloves this also I got from the Dollar Tree um, just because we're working with armor etch armor etch is a chemical that can eat away at glass so you just, you just don't want that on your hands while you're working with it so be aware of that um, you also need to grab from your Cricut supplies your scrapers as well as your weeding tools as you'll be weeding and sticking it on the glass. And the final two things you're going to need is uh, some paper towels as well as a paintbrush because this is what you're going to be able to paint your glass with the armor etch over your stencil. So those are what you're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with how to weed your image. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is print off on your Cricut whatever word or design you want to etch onto your vinyl. So here I just have a name, so I wanna go ahead and put the name on the vinyl, or I'm sorry, on the glass. So when the vinyl was cut out, from here I just weeded out the actual word because I wanna put etching cream on this word so that the glass will be the same as the word. So anything that you have exposed that's not in black here is going to be etched onto the glass. So that's what we want to do here. So I'm going to show you this one. If you can see, it's just one that says Mr. on here. So I'm going to take out that. And as you can see how it goes there. So I'll keep going along. And then once we've finished etching, we will go ahead, or I'm sorry, once we've finished weeding, we will go ahead and apply it to our glass. So now it looks like this. So this becomes our stencil. So let's go ahead and take a piece of our transfer tape and apply it to our vinyl. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and take this, place it over there. We're going to make sure it is adhered very well, the transfer tape to the vinyl, because we are going to take a corner of it like so and lift it up. By lifting it up, we're going to create the stencil for our project. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the stencils to the to the glass and then I'm, okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and see where I think this looks good make sure it looks good before you stick it down because once you stick it down if you pull it back up you will have to cut another piece of vinyl um, the stencil is gonna be a one-time use so once you have stuck it down then go ahead and peel from the corner diagonally down the transfer tape off. Now this has left you with, as you can see here, your stencil. So that anywhere that we see the M and the R is where we're going to stencil down and put our etching cream. Um, go back over it with a scraper like so, um, just to make sure it is fully adhered because any, and I do mean any, loose spots will allow the etching cream to 
um, seep under the vinyl and it will etch the glass, anything it touches. So be aware of that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the next part, the next word. And it's the exact same thing that I just did. There we go. Okay, so it's important to note that when you are using your Armor Etch Cream, you wanna make sure that you shake it very well prior to using it. This will help make a big difference with your project as well. So take a damp paintbrush, not too wet, and we're gonna go ahead and get some of our Armor Etch Cream out. Now, you will notice that certain people will tell you that you need to leave it your etch cream on for you know, the longer the better, or this or that. I find just a couple of minutes is just fine. You just wanna make sure that you have a nice, solid coat over everything that you want to etch. That is the most important part. And again, don't get it anywhere that you do not want the glass to be etched because it's very obvious that it is uh, been touched by etch cream. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, another tip when you are working on um, a curved surface like a glass, just keep an eye on it because sometimes the more you cake on here as you're etching, um, some of it will be prone to you know shift toward the edges of the since it's a curved surface. So just be aware of that as well. Another thing with the etching cream, um, once you are done with it, if you've let it sit for a period of time and you're getting ready to rinse it off, you can go ahead and scrape with your paintbrush scrape it back into your bottle for being able to use again. So especially if you're trying to really make it um, worth every penny, just keep that in mind because that'll help you a little bit as well too. So now I'm just going back over it, making sure that everything is covered while I wait for it to etch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the water and I'm gonna use warm water to rinse it off. So now we have the warm water. We're just going to go ahead and rinse this off. Okay, at this point, it is safe to touch because everything is off. And I will peel the stencil off. Turn that off. Okay, I'm just going to take a little soap here, rinse it up because, you know, again, we did have chemical on it. You can't ever be too good so you can clean with that. All right, and there we have it. We have our finished product. We have a nice etched glass. Sorry about the glare. It's kind of getting on there, but you get the idea that it's nice and etched in here. Um, now this is dishwasher safe as well. So it really does make a nice gift. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to drop them in the comment box below and I'll be happy to help. Thank you guys for watching.